Now according to Elements or this originates from your web hosting environment and could probably be caused by these common factors. And rather than dwelling on the problem, let's take a quick look at how to fix this issue by first cleaning the site's database and also lessen the chance of your occurrence by increasing the memory allocated to it. So typically as one user's WordPress besides database accumulates extra data over time like revisions, spam, comments, as well as residual files from plugins you're probably no longer using. Removing this redundant file is a step in the right direction and resolving most elemental related conflicts. But just before we do that, it's best to first take a backup of your site since the changes, or rather optimizations we're about to make is irreversible. Okay, I'll be assuming you've already taken your site's backup. So let's head over to add a new plugin and search for WP Optimize, and we'll be installing this plugin by the developers David Rohani and Team Opdraft. All right, once that's installed, hover over this to select database, and on this page, you should see a number of selected optimizations by default. I would advise you run each optimization separately and fall back to save the page on elemental updates, and if it doesn't just move over to run the next optimization and repeat the circle until the update goes through. Now when it actually does that, when the page eventually updates, you might want to first take a look at your entire website to make sure everything is still intact before moving on to the next step. Alright, either the error has been resolved or that didn't work for you. You want to take the next step nonetheless, which is increasing the memory allocated to your website since Elementor typically requires a minimum of 128 megabytes to function properly. So to do this, first log into your website cPanel, and depending on the cPanel software your web hosting provider is actively using, you'd want to set for multi-php any editor, and for hosting the users. Open up the Advanced tab from your website dashboard to select PHP Configuration, and we should be able to find out when I scroll down this page. Heading back to the commonly UC panel, let's select the PHP editor, and from here choose the website you're currently having the error on, and lastly change the memory limit to a minimum of 502 MB with just an M at the end. Or you could just go with a higher value just as hosting guy in this case. Save your changes and that's it. Alternatively, if you don't want to tamper with the site to your panel information, you can just reach out to support to help increase their allocated memory for you. Oh, and one last thing, if this worked for you, I'll only ask you, let me know in the comments below. Your feedback show helps the channel in its own way. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and I'll see you the next one.